promotions on social media. Now, obviously, Meta owns Facebook and Instagram, but they are very different in their rules and their approaches to prize promotions. It's been an age old thing that Facebook does not allow you to ask your followers to share things on their profiles in order to participate in a promotion. What it does permit is reactions and comments under a promotional post. The reactions to the post are quite difficult in terms of when we extract it, there is no timestamp. So if we're saying that the promotion ends at midday on Saturday and we're not extracting all the data until Monday morning when we come into the office, we've no idea whether somebody's participated on Sunday, for example. And if they have, we should be disqualifying them in order to be running a fair and compliant promotion. So asking them to comment underneath it when you extract the comments, they do have a timestamp. That's much, much easier. Or we just simply end the promotion at a period in time, which is convenient to extract the data immediately afterwards. The other thing that Facebook doesn't permit is tagging or mentioning people in those comments underneath the promotional post. Just slightly change your direct exhortation. Don't say in your call to action, tag who you would bring to Wimbledon. Say, tell us. X and Instagram, typically you are able to do things like asking people to share on their own profiles or on their own grid stories on Instagram. Tagging contacts is equally acceptable um, or simply just commenting underneath a promotional post again is, is, is absolutely fine. One thing I would say about Instagram, however, is that the stories are not possible to extract using a data tool. So you're going to have to have somebody sat there screenshotting every single entry in order to you know, enter them into the prize draw or the competition accordingly. Therefore, videos on stories to enter a competition is not going to be possible because you can't watch the whole video. Now, for each of those platforms, the profiles have got to be set to public in order for that entry to be seen and it to be extracted via the tool. <laughs> I've kept TikTok separate here because it can be quite the unknown entity. There are, there are no policies set by TikTok, but equally, there are huge, huge data extraction issues. No tool will work beyond um, managing to take from them the four to 700 most engaging posts. We'll never see more than that when we're asking people to do duets via a unique piece of music or a unique hashtag. So I would always suggest that engaging with consumers on TikTok is absolutely fine. There is no precedent set for doing things to receive a prize or a reward on TikTok. Consumers and, and users do it purely to engage, which is great because it means you can then ask them in order to enter a promotion to then share that on their Instagram grid or to upload the link of that particular video onto a microsite along with their name and email address. And we judge it that way. So there are alternatives around it if you're, you're absolutely aiming to be 100% compliant and risk free.